Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, U.S. Senator ascribes MQ-9 downing to Russian incompetence. Lyft completes first crewed eVTOL flights in Japan. And cab systems to patent drone ice protection system. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. U.S. Senator ascribes MQ-9 downing to Russian incompetence. Senator Mark Kelly, a Democrat of Arizona, a former U.S. Navy combat pilot and NASA astronaut, has openly opined that the March 14, 2023 incident in which a pair of Russian Su-27 flanker fighter jets downed a U.S. MQ-9 Reaper unmanned air vehicle over the Black Sea is ascribable to incompetence on the parts of the Russian pilots. The U.S. European Command released video footage reportedly recorded by an aft-facing camera aboard the MQ-9. The camera's field of view encapsulates a portion of the UAV's empennage and the lower 180 degrees of its propeller arc, and shows the approaches of the Su-27s and an apparent collision. Kelly remarked, quote, I'm not surprised by this. I mean, I flew with Russian pilots, fighter pilots who couldn't fly formation, and I watched this video and it's pretty obvious what happened. He lost sight of it and crashed into it, end quote. Kelly further impugned Russia's combat capability, comparing the Black Sea incident to the, quote, incompetence that we see on the battlefield every day in Ukraine. That's why the losses that the Russians are suffering right now are really high. At this point, I mean, the best choice for Vladimir Putin would be to say, hey, this isn't working, end quote. And after the break, DJI announces Mini 2 SE drone. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. DJI announces Mini 2 SE drone. The release of DJI's new Mini 2 SE drone strategically expands the company's Mini line. A step up from the Mini SE, the Mini 2 SE improves upon many of the Mini SE's features while maintaining its resolution. However, in comparison to the Mini 2, the Mini 2 SE, while retaining the former model's functionality, concedes a degree of image resolution. After the fashion of all Mini drones, the Mini 2 SE masses less than 0.55 pounds, a weight that keeps the model under the FAA's regulatory threshold for registration. Aerojet Rocketdyne to be acquired by L3 Harris Aerojet Rocketdyne Holdings announced that 99.7% of its stockholders had voted in favor of L3 Harris's proposed acquisition of the El Segundo, California-headquartered aerospace propulsion firm and its diversified holdings. The two companies expect to close the acquisition transaction in 2023, subject to requisite regulatory approvals, clearances, and additional customary closing protocols. Inmarsat and Heron Airbridge Partnership Announced Inmarsat announced that Singapore-based Heron Airbridge, a concern specializing in unmanned aircraft systems traffic management in the Asia-Pacific region, had joined its Valeris Partner Network, a connectivity service intended to support the growth of the emergent commercial UAV sector. Inmarsat asserts the partnership will set the worldwide standard for the integration of UAVs into national airspace systems. Sikorsky to build hybrid eVTOL testbed Sikorsky is building a fully autonomous hybrid eVTOL which will serve as a flying testbed by dint of which the company will evaluate new designs and vet novel propulsion systems for future, longer-range aircraft. The hybrid electric demonstrator, to be called HEX, will have an ample maximum gross weight of 7,000 pounds. The unmanned contraption will also be used to test flight control architectures conducive to sustained hover and mission ranges greater than 500 nautical miles. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. 
Lyft completes first crewed eVTOL flights in Japan. Lyft Aircraft's HEXA made a notable demo for the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau, obtaining approval for additional demonstrations. The company completed Phase 1 flight testing and initial envelope development with the USAF, moving onward to Alpha flights to allow persons outside the company to fly the prototype HEXA. Demonstrations were held on a field with inside of the Osaka Castle, with Masatoshi Kumangai of GMO Internet Group taking up the helm for a few flights in the pattern after a brief introduction to the aircraft. During the Osaka demo, nine total flights were completed for onlookers, with additional stops planned for Nihama and Imabari throughout the rest of March. Matt Chasen, founder and CEO of Lyft Aircraft, said, quote, JCAB was thorough in their review of our safety standards and our aircraft and gave us the green light to fly. It's an honor that our aircraft was selected to be the first eVTOL ever piloted in Japan, end quote. The demo was selected for the Osaka Prefectural Government's fiscal year 2022 subsidy for urban business creation flying car projects, as well as a candidate demonstrator for Expo 2025. The Expo will presage the 2025 World Exposition with the assistance of the Osaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And after these messages, CAV Systems to Patent Drone Ice Protection System. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. CAV Systems to Patent Drone Ice Protection System. CAV Ice Protection Limited is patenting an anti-icing solution for SUAS. CAV notes that the new system has the potential to revolutionize the manner in which commercial drones are utilized in cold climates. Engineers designed a concept ice protection system that successfully prevented ice from accreting on the rotor blades of an SUAS. The company plans to bring the architecture to market in short order. The rise in the popularity of drones and unmanned aircraft has occasioned demand for the development of technologies capable of mitigating the effects of inclement weather on UAS, to include SUAF platforms. CAV Systems Vice President of Engineering Alex Beatty stated, quote, This is an industry first. Nobody has previously demonstrated an ice protection system that works for this size of aircraft, and we're not aware that anybody else is working on one. We're ahead of the curve in that respect, and it has attracted the attention of some major distributors. We know that globally the use of drones for last mile delivery is already in action. We hope that our anti-icing system can help to tackle a significant obstacle to widespread drone usage." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!